Hello and welcome to The Orange Truth, I'm Freddie Ray and today I'm here at the Stoke-on-Trent College Sports Hall to see the new home of Sean Jameson's Hoop Skills programme. Now with a career in the NBA, Europe and with the Harlem Globetrotters, Sean has reached levels in basketball that his players dream of. Initially from California, he's been coaching in the UK for several years now and with that said, let's get to it. What was your first impressions of the programme? Uh, Compared to others at least? Very hard. I turned up and I couldn't even do the first drill, I couldn't get there in time yeah, yeah. and now I can do it easy. I came down, worked out with Sean and then he got me to where I am now. Um, once you come to academy when you live by yourself, it's um, a long journey and it prepares you for the future. Coach approached me at regionals and then I came this year for college and started playing. Coming to Hoop Skills, I came about three, four years ago. I found out about this place and um, I started college. Obviously got to know Sean and the teams and the players, obviously met you there back in the day. Bouncing at school was quite easy, but I mean, I do struggle with like social stuff because everyone's like going out and then I'm yeah. just like, I've got training, so I can't come out, but I enjoy it more than going out, so it's not a problem. amazing really because obviously when I first came in I was I was I was at the bottom bottom and obviously I'm not at the top yet but I'm just gradually working getting better and as you can see there's new players coming in and out each year yeah, yeah. and obviously improving the game yeah I'm sure like, like guys like Ben give you some healthy competition right yeah you could say so yeah he's a young guy he's gonna be very good if he keeps his own to the game then he's gonna be a very good player so you catch the train from where exactly? Birmingham. Birmingham, every yeah. single morning? Yeah, and after. Well, it main, mainly comes down to commitment and um, time management. You always have time to work out and stuff because like, you've got 24 hours in a day, meaning that there's no excuse. Like You've got your college work, you can go training morning, afternoon, and still have some free time. It's taught me just like general how to live life, like the things what you got to work for, like respectful to people. It's a good experience, it's, it's a lot of hard work, but it's good because there's nothing really here apart from basketball, gym, yeah. so there's no distractions really. And yeah. coach, coach, yeah. guys, keep in focus. Throw him around, don't shoot it, you got to react right, right there. This is why I keep saying, you hear me say, die, that's what I mean. Do you understand? Coach. Okay. Picks must be set, and you gotta have room to operate, fellas. He's um, a coach that's always on my back, which means that he shows, he shows that he actually cares and he wants the best from all his players, not just me. And no one's trying to get in trouble, especially with Sean being our coach. But I do, I do really enjoy playing poop skills and. Um, obviously about say about what five years ago this basketball in Stoke was just nothing yeah. but yeah. now it's, it's, in, it's increasing and uh, Kieran and coach are doing big things. I, I say it's the best opportunity you're going to have. He's, the he's one of the best coaches in the country, simple as that. Now, bearing in mind that that was only five players of up to 30 currently at Hoop Skills, it's amazing to see the variety of backgrounds, especially considering the big cities that players have left to come and train under Sean in Stoke. Now, as we go and speak to Sean, we're going to see what it is he actually asks of his players and where he sees Hoop Skills in the future. Let's get to it. Okay, welcome to the Orange Truth. I'm Freddie Ray here again with uh, Sean Jameson. How are you doing, Sean? What's good, Freddie? How are you doing, man? Uh, good. So uh, it's obviously 2016, New Year, new season. We've got a new venue. We've got a lot of new faces at the Hoop Skills program. How is this impacting how you organise and go forth in the season? Well, it's a brand new look, brand new atmosphere. I'm glad that uh, Stoke on Trent College has had us. But you know, it's, we're trying to do it bigger and better. It's a brand new year. Uh, a lot of new faces. The most important part of it, right, is basically the school part and then uh, getting the guys in and uh, teaching them this great game of basketball. Yeah. 
you know, like I spoke to the guys and I spoke to them, you know, asking them how they balance their life. It was actually pretty interesting and amazing to see the genuine answers they were coming out with, talking about rather being here than, you know, being out yeah. uh, in social environments and things like that. Right. Do you feel that a certain responsibility or just uh, take pride in the program that you'd give at Hoop Skills? What's part of our, our program is to develop the young guys into young men, responsible young men. So we include all of this in our program. We got guys away from home. We, we do different things. Just showing them how to be responsible. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's the first thing. Basketball is going to be there. We put in a lot of time in the, yeah, in the gym. But our main focus is to make these guys responsible. Everybody's not going to make it in basketball. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you know, will you be responsible when you leave here? Will you be better when you leave here? And I think that's the thing that I can pride myself in. You might be a certain way when you come to Stoke on Trent College yeah, or yeah. come to Hoop Skills, but when you leave, you're going to be better. With all that, how do you like maintain the relationship with all the new guys that come in? You seem to have built this thing up over, what, six years now? Right. So obviously, you've seen so many phases here at Hoop Skills. Right. How do you feel about just each individual success as you might look at it? Well, the thing is, is Hoop Skills is one big family. Whether it be Malcolm Leak, it might be some outside people that, that you probably don't even know about. Yeah, so we, yeah. we're, we're one big, big family. So our thing is, is progression. You okay. know, we got a lot of new faces, but it's still the same game plan. Get them in, get to know them as, as individuals, yeah. right? Everybody is treated different, but the same. And then we build a relationship from there, right? But the common goal is get better. You know what I mean? Be a better person when you leave here. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you came, we saw what we had. You know, when you depart, we look to see a better you or better him or better her. And of course, like now you've got a good type of management going on where you've got Kieran developing to be like a great coach. Right. And of course, you've got Malcolm Lee and you've got Trev. What is it like working in a team? on top of a team? Well, everybody has a job to do. It's like any other organization. Um, Trev has his thing he does, uh, which he does a great job with. I'm responsible for the basketball part. Malcolm is here assisting me with that, with hoop skills. And the kids need to do their part. Yeah, and, exactly. and that's be respectful and open their mind up to change. Yeah, See, that's, yeah. The, that's the key thing. Throw out the old you and let, let us develop you. Let us help bring you along. Do you find many like struggles with it? I mean, you make, I you make no, it sound like plain sailing. Yeah, well, it is. It's, as a basketball part. <laughs> yeah, on the basketball, we don't have any problems with the, with the basketball. But it's just like I said, um, people respect me because of what I've done and how I treat people. I treat everybody like I want to be treated. Yeah. And that includes my players. I was a player at one particular time so I know how players supposed to be treated right and that's what I try to do I treat others like uh, doing others as they do under you that, yeah, that yeah. type of thing that's yeah. that's how I go about uh, and giving people chances and opportunities it's like when Karen came here Karen was strictly a, a ball player yeah. so well we got to help you do something else with this coaching so he's he's responsible for my youth program with Ilias Ilias came to me as a player Okay, he's responsible for community as well. Yeah. Jared is in the community now. Laz is in the community now. So, okay, we got the basketball, but it's giving them other things as well. And with the season coming up, uh, do you have any specific targets to hit? Or is it just go 100%? No, we're trying to win. <laughs> That's basically what it is. We're trying to win, but develop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Develop players, making sure they on track getting better. Taking away old habits. Exactly. You know, just like I said, everybody don't don't get a shot to go to America. Everybody in this sports hall won't go to America. Yeah. But if you can leave out of here saying, you know what, I got the best basketball experience that I could have gotten. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm happy. I know what we're building here is special. It's like I said, uh, I'm just going to continue to work and uh, build hoop skills and make it as enjoyable as I can for the young youth. And, uh, you know, I got seniors as well. But, uh, you know, we're moving in a good direction. Like I said, we've made a transition, but everything is smooth sailing. Yeah. We're just going to keep rolling along. Our ultimate goal is, you know, at the end of the day, we're trying to win. Yeah. You know what I mean? On and off the court. That's right. <laughs> All, right. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us today, Sean, and uh, appreciate your time. The intensity of hoop skills is high, and for good reason. You know, whilst improving skill set is a key area of focus, the effort required in practice aims to instill a great sense of discipline into the young man. Now, having put more than his fair share of work in, Kieran Jones is reinvesting himself into hoop skills as a coach 
while still playing point guard for the national team. Let's see how he's getting on. Hello and welcome to the Orange Truth. I'm Freddie Ray here again with Kieran Jones. How are we doing, Kieran? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Not bad. So, obviously, we've got a lot of new faces here at the Hoop Skills program. Uh, what's it like to have such a wide reach to young men from so many different cities? Yeah, it's great. It's always nice to see new players and new talents and have them bring something to the team. And obviously, with that, you've become quite a mentor with the guys. What's it been like over the last few years going from, well, of course, you're still a player, but now you've developed into something much more? Yeah, it's always nice to like see what the new generation can bring to the game and like obviously I can impart knowledge on them but also they impart knowledge on me sometimes. I learn things about my own game that they have that I don't have so it's always nice to, to see that. Do you try and adopt Sean's coaching style or develop your own or what do you get from you know just your whole experience here? I'm just learning a lot. Obviously coaches has his, his own style of coaching. I think everybody should coach differently just like how everybody yeah. plays differently. But definitely like having the fundamentals and the core basic down like how he teaches us is always important. Good stuff. So um, what's your aspirations for, for the next just year? I want to get promoted this year. I think that we'll get promoted this year. In the um, National League? Yeah, in the National League men's team. I think the college have the potential this year, obviously with Rizwan and a couple of the other guys on the team to do some big things in the college league and under 18s. Yeah. Yeah, so we're hoping for them to do well. Of course, you brought Rizwan from Birmingham. What's it like to see the progression from a player that was, you know, two years ago to, to now and then project Rizwan's future, you might say, in the next two years? Well, uh, when I first met him, he was like a little skinny guy, big head. <laughs> and uh, he used to be able to get to the basket really well. He can still get to the basket pretty well. But that was like the main part of his game. Yeah. But now, obviously, he's developed a lot of other areas in his game. Shooting. And he's become an a, a all-around kind of player. So it's great to see that for him. Like, he's getting there. And of course, with that, you know, you've got guys like Ben coming in to play huge guy. He got obviously a lot of new talent well it was quite interesting the other day to see the relationship between the national team, the college and the under 18s. You're very much like the big brothers in the sense that you know you teach them how the game's done and when you beat them it's obviously for, for their own good. Yeah, yeah it's like a big brother little brother thing but um, sometimes the little brother hits back you know yeah. so uh, <laughs> it's definitely good again like I think they help us, they keep us active. Keep you obviously, on your they, toes. Yeah they got young legs when they're running at us in training and stuff we have to kind of come back with our brains a bit and show them who's boss though. There's a lot of fitness involved in hoop skills. Yeah. When you're recruiting and like looking at new guys, uh, is there anything specific that you look for in a, in a player? Um, just a, a will to get better. Obviously, coach is really good at developing guys. So if you, you're open to being taught and you're open to learning new things and learning about the game, then it's definitely a good place for you. Obviously, it's not just fitness, but there's a big stress on um, brains for the game. How is basketball different from something to a uh, football? I think because it's a lot of quicker pace, like in football, like you can have times in the game where you're not so involved because you're not on the ball, where in basketball, even when you're off the ball, yeah. you're still very much involved. And there's, of course, only five guys on the court at one time, small space, so you've got to make the most of every, every corner of the court. Exactly. I, I always make a a uh, comparison to chess really it's like you have you guys for like Ben being the tall guy and then of course you got you guys like Riz everyone thinks basketball is just for tall guys um, but you know it's, it's obviously not is it no I'm only 5'9 and uh, I think I'm a bit of a, a leader on the team so I hope to I'd like to think I am anyway so and everyone's obviously got the role to play yeah everyone has a role how you said it yeah. yeah just wrapping up I just wanted to say thanks very much for joining us today Kieran and uh very good interview, cheers. Thanks for having me. Cheers, man. Now, after speaking with everyone at Hoop Skills, it's clear that the program's on course for a prosperous future, full of challenges and hard work. As the numbers increase, along with the variety of backgrounds and the competition, Sean's team continues to stay dedicated and hustle as much as they possibly can. Now, it's a new season, but as always, the same game plan. I'm Freddie Ray, and that's the Orange Truth.